Alright, so uh, I'll start off this week with sharing with you what are some of the events that you can focus on and what and therefore what currency you want to look out for. Okay, for this week, uh, today is all bank holiday, so not much for today. Then if you look at Tuesday, it's pretty quiet also. Okay, uh, nothing much. Uh, this one here on pound manufacturing production, uh, I don't think it will be a very key event to look out for. And then uh, Wednesday, again, you see nothing much. Uh, Thursday, you have your FOMC meeting minute. Okay, uh, that will be crucial. Okay, because uh, after last Friday, NFP, if you are aware, uh, is actually negative 33,000. Okay, but the positive data is uh, unemployment rate drop, average hourly earning increase. Okay, so that is actually good data for US. Uh, but later I'll walk you through, because this week definitely the focus will be on US dollar. So later I'll walk you through my personal view on US dollar. Right, but for Thursday, okay, uh, this week FOMC meeting minutes is definitely something you need to look out for. Then uh, this one here, 10.30 ECB, usually when I see such event uh, based on, that means it's a Euro event, and the timing is actually past uh, very late into the Eurozone and London market, right? Usually this kind of event wouldn't be a huge impact one. Okay, so it's just a panel discussion. Uh. So uh, this one here, if you are trading the Euro, you might want to take note off. But let's say if you have no Euro position, you might not want to put too much emphasis on that. Okay, that means don't need to spend so much time and resources onto this particular news. Lah. Right, and then of course, Friday is the important one. Uh, CPI and retail sales is definitely important. Okay, and then this, this data comes right after your FOMC meeting minutes. Okay, so today, uh, this week, and today what I'll focus on a lot is the dollar because this is the, this is the whole focus for this week. Okay, that's where uh, I'll bring you to the first analysis on dollar index. Okay, so dollar index, uh, let me scroll. Oops. Okay, so dollar index on this chart. Okay, so uh, daily wise, if you put in some quick analysis, right, your focus will be what is happening over here. Lah. Okay. So likelihood if you are looking at this. Okay, so for this, right, um, very clear is this one here is still a down move. Okay, so this is very small here, right? Uh, so the idea here is you are just looking on daily, all right? You might not get a trade set up looking at this chart, right? That's where I want to bring you on 4 hour because 4 hour is showing us a very clear sign, okay, of this setup. Okay, uh, can you see this? This is your one move up correction, and then after that, it starts to crawl here. Yeah. So this part here, again, very obvious. Uh, there's a lot of overlap. The move up is losing momentum. If I bring in the oscillator, you can also see that slight divergence is forming. Okay, so divergence simply means momentum is losing and the reversal has a higher pro probability of forming. Right? So div uh, for this kind of pattern, how, we, how I usually trade it, okay, is I'll just draw a trend line like this. And then uh, once it break, that is where the breakout trade happen, right? Uh, that's the reason why we all want Lester's trend line. Uh, so now you all know why we want that. Uh, I'm not saying that you I must. To cycle them. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that you must do it. Yeah, I'm just. <laughs> I'm just saying that why we need the trend line is because of this strategy. Okay. Yeah. So you. <laughs> So usually, um, how to define whether this crawl here is mature, that means it's ready and it's completed and then the down will be coming, right? So there are a few things that I personally look out for, right? The first one here is, uh, I'll use FIP, okay? That means this one, uh, all of you will have known also, right? I'll use this FIP, measure 1 is to 1 or 1 is to 1, 2, 3.6, okay? So this is the level to look out for, okay? So you realize that now this area has been hit. Okay, so this is where the minimum expectation of 1 is to 1, right? So it has hit it already. So that's my first condition. Okay, the second condition I look up for is that it has 5 move. Okay, that means the crawl must come in 5. Yeah? So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so this is your 1 as your first move. This is your second move. Okay, then this is your impulse correction and then this is your 5 move up. Okay. So once I see that there is 5 move up like this already and it's crawling, there's a very high chance that I would expect a trend line like this and I expect it to come down. Okay, so I'll show you what I've analyzed on the dollar index. Yeah? Okay, so I'm actually looking at this. 
All right, so how low can we expect the dollar to go down? Okay, uh, so the basic minimum requirement or expectation we always use is actually 50%. Okay, so this 50% comes from this move. From this X here all the way up, I pull a 50%. So that is my first expected target, okay, around the 92.9. Okay, that means uh, what I expect is maybe a small move up like this, and then after that, look for the sell to come down here. All right, so this is my plan for the dollar index for this particular week. Okay, so I'm actually bearish on the US dollar. Okay, so now if I show you the euro dollar, okay, uh, you all should be aware that dollar index and euro dollar is almost like inverse, perfect inverse relationship. All right, so what you see over here is the same, okay, impulse and then a correction. Okay, again, this correction here very clear, you have five moves already. Okay, but what you realize is this small pie here is still crawling up. Okay, which means that short term, you can still come down first. Then after that, only go up. Okay. So again, Euro dollar, I won't be looking for short. I'll be only looking for buy setup. Right? Very similar to the dollar index. Up. So in fact, uh, most brokers, you might not be able to trade the dollar index directly. So the closest pair to trade uh, the dollar will be your Euro dollar pair. Okay. So same analysis over here, uh, aiming for the 50%. That's over here. Okay. So it's, it's, it's very similar. Okay, so I'll just pull in the FIP from this high to this low and then aim for that 50% as the first target. Okay, so it's around 1.1853. Uh, 